Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new review video for you. This time I am reviewing the Safari Limited Black Labrador. This is set number 253429 and I purchased this from a store um, earlier this year, maybe in June of 2021. And it came with a tag wrapped around the body. It was wrapped around back here with this piece of plastic. Here is a warning card in English and other languages. Here is the tag. Safari Limited Black Labrador. It has some basic information inside and some manufacturing information on the back of the tag here. Now let's take a look at the dimensions of this figurine. From the tip of the tail to the tip of the doggy chew toy bone in the mouth there, it's about four inches long. And at the widest point, the head tilted off to the side, so from the nose to the foot there, it's about an inch and a half wide. And at the highest point on top of the head, it's about three inches tall. So let's take a look at the um, figurine itself. So this is obviously a black dog. It's a black Labrador. And what's unusual compared to most of the other animal figurines I review, this one seems to have a little doggy toy in the mouth. Now I bought this in June of 2021 because I found one in good shape. I had seen this dog before in the store and when I saw it, I saw a whole bunch of these at the store maybe in 2019 or 2020 and some of these were broken. Like half of this little chew toy was broken off out of the whole group. So either there's a manufacturing problem or uh, some kids got a hold of this in the store and just broke it because they could. You know, very disappointing to see something like that. Now I think this little blue chew toy is an extra piece that's glued in there. So in the mouth there, looks like it's painted red. So I think it's just a bit sloppily applied to the front of the mouth there. And we see a couple of lower teeth. Now if we look closely, the teeth are not completely painted. It looks like there's just a dab of white paint along the top. So it doesn't, the white paint doesn't cover the entire uh, tooth on either side. So just a little bit sloppy, but it's a tiny little thing there. So not very easy to do by hand, I think. And if we look at the nose, and the eyes, those are a bit glossy. So they dabbed a little glossy paint to make it shiny to show the moisture of the nose and the eyes. So all over the body looks like there's a lot of fur texture sculpted into the figurine. So I like that. You know, a lot of detail. A lot of work went into the detail of this. And then this tail here looks um, a little bit hairy. Now it's not very flexible, that's good. Well, we don't want to push too hard because it would snap off. And the legs, actually these are rather stiff. Yeah, I've seen other animal figurines that have long legs and they seem to be more flexible. These are pretty stiff, so I like that. Maybe a different kind of plastic or a harder kind of plastic went into this one. So if we really tried hard to bend this, I think it would just break rather than just bend. So on the belly, 
there's some manufacturing information. This was first molded in 2007. There's some sort of serial number or something for this in white. And the paws, the bottoms of the paws here, the pads and the paws, they have a lot of nice detail there. It looks pretty nice down there. So, I like how the legs are rather straight and it looks like this dog has a rather good posture. So, of course, when I buy these from the store, I always test these to make sure that they're stable. And oh, this one doesn't wobble, so the legs are nice and straight and even. So I say this is a very nice figurine of the Black Labrador. So thank you for watching my review video here. Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. Until next time. Goodbye, everyone.